Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I just want to take you guys back two years ago, subhanAllah. Uh, two years ago, I got diagnosed with cancer. And subhanAllah, the world was so different two years ago. And normally, you sit there with friends and family and you talk about how things have changed over five or ten years. But recently, subhanAllah, things have been changing so so quickly. In the last two years, it's become normal to see our sisters with scarves in, in, in concerts, jumping up and down. It's become normal to see our sisters getting plastic surgery and their lips done and all this stuff. It's been normal to see brothers walking around with uh, their girlfriends in the street. Yeah, with a beard, even no beard, subhanAllah, doesn't really matter no more. Brothers are, are, are coming back to the, to the deen and still selling d drugs on the street. SubhanAllah, we've got everything mixed up in the last two years and it's become just ridiculous to the point where even the Mashiach are accepting these things as normal. At Christmas, we're following Christmas. Half the Muslims have Christmas trees these days. It's just a normal thing, subhanAllah, where it took much, much longer for things to change before. And subhanAllah, what have we left for our kids? What if we left for the, the, the future Muslims who are growing up? You know, you go into families these days, families, they don't even know how to speak Arabic, subhanAllah. And by the time their kids have kids, the Arabic language is going to be forgotten in the whole, in the whole family. So just putting this video out there because subhanAllah I've been the last two years sitting on the sideline just watching the world go past and wallahi it's very very scary the state that we've be, we're, we're coming to. The state the Muslims are coming to and uh, how quick we're changing. It's very, very scary. Just know that the Day of Judgment is around the corner and these are the signs of Day of Judgment. SubhanAllah, we need, to, we need to wake up before it's too late. We see our brothers and sisters dying every day. SubhanAllah, they die. We bury them. The next day we're back in the clubs and clubbing like it's a normal thing, a normal day, SubhanAllah. And like I said, five years ago, things didn't change this quickly. It took a lot longer for, for things to change and for people to accept and for people to... But now, everyone's accepting everything. Everyone's changing. Everyone wants to be like whatever they see on TV or follow the footsteps of of the, the Christians. SubhanAllah, we had the best of all examples, the Prophet Sallallahu who led Islam to where it is. And SubhanAllah, we don't want to follow him. We choose to follow everything and anything else except for him. Why, why are we doing this, brothers and sisters? Let's wake up. Wallahi, this world is only temporary. Wallahi, subhanAllah, I had a lot of things in life. SubhanAllah, sometimes there's no food in my fridge. And doctors have taken advantage of me, telling me they can help me get better. Um, people all around the world have sort of taking advantage and uh, I don't I don't mind it doesn't bother me but subhanAllah just to tell you is where this world's coming to one day you can wake up you have everything in the world and then the next day Allah can take it all away from you and test you and a lot of us will fail in these tests a lot of us will start to blame Allah and to tell him why this and why that so brothers and sisters let's just stick firm to this thing and try to at least uh, get a bit closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it's getting very scary. Our kids are getting lost. Our kids don't know what Islam is anymore. So imagine when they have kids, subhanAllah Islam will be forgotten from the whole family.